I see one more Facebook live stream uploaded to YouTube, or hear one more person talk about how their membership area is going to be full of webinar recordings, I might punch my monitor. There's a right way and a wrong way to repurpose content. So let's talk about it. We're the Video Doctors, helping entrepreneurs conquer video. We have new videos every week where we talk about things like technology, editing, and performance to marketing strategy, relationship building, and the systems you need to grow. If that sounds like something you need, you should subscribe. Also, check out the show notes for all the links. And now, let's talk about content repurposing. I will be the first to tell you that repurposing your content is a really, really smart thing to do. I think everything should be repurposed as much as possible to reach more people, appeal to more consuming styles, and to deliver more value always repurpose. But repurpose does not mean copy and paste. You can't expect to take a live stream or a live webinar and pop it behind a paywall or in a totally new platform and look like anything other than a lazy ass. Yep, I said it. Lazy ass. Here's why. When you're presenting live, even when it's digital, like through a hangout, webinar, or live stream, there's an implicit or explicit two-way conversation happening. The energy of back and forth and immediate response is there. And that's a totally different feeling than something that has been prepared to be consumed by a person alone. And when you take something that is live and two-directional and make it unidirectional, something is lost. People can feel alienated and left out because they are left out. You aren't talking to them. You're talking to other people who were there but aren't anymore. This isn't to say that there isn't value in sharing or even selling a webinar replay, for example, but that only works in the context of this is a live thing that you were going to be at but couldn't. So here's what happened. For example, when you do group coaching and not everyone can attend live, that's a perfectly fine thing to include as part of a service you offer. And webinar replays allow people who have conflicts to still learn from you and hear about what you're offering. In those cases, your viewers are primed for and expecting an experience that they aren't really a part of. And when that's all above board, it's totally cool. But when someone expects to have a video experience that is made for them, but ends up centering other people who were there live, it's a ripoff. It's not as personal, and in terms of sales, education, or audience building, it's ultimately unprofessional and ineffective. Creating a digital course or populating a paid membership area is so much work, and it's really, really tempting, especially when you're a small operation, to reuse videos from webinars and group coaching calls and presentations to make up fat portions of your digital content. But at the end of the day, it won't be serving your students or community as well as content that was designed to be consumed solo and structured intentionally to meet your goals and their needs. Good, evergreen content for sales, education, and authority building should almost always be structured so that it's engaging and approachable for people who are going to be consuming it on their own time, in their own environment, without the implicit expectation of back and forth communication or energy. All right, that was my rant about repurposing content badly. Disagree with me? Comment below. And if you want more, like and subscribe. You can also head over to our site and read our comprehensive guide to writing scripts for videos that will grab your viewers' interest and attention, but won't leave them feeling like you're talking to someone else. Catch you next time.